what's up everybody this is your boy big car and brand here I'm bringing you guys another video for today January 16th and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to trade on Binance so before we get started with that I want to let you guys know that I will be doing a $100 Bitcoin giveaway uh, once I hit 1500 subscribers so the rules are to like this video subscribe to my channel and then write a comment on what you've learned from this current video or if you have any uh, questions about what I've said about the video put those down in the in the comment section below and I also have the different just um, links for coinbase and Devore coin and um, Binance so that if you do not have those accounts created you can go ahead and click on those get those accounts created so that you can get everything set up so before I get into showing you guys how to actually buy and sell on Binance I want to bring you guys some news first so the first thing I want to talk about is the Binance coin so if you guys have not noticed or, or you didn't know at all Binance actually has their own coin that you can buy uh, from Binance it's called BNB that's the symbol for it so on January 15th they completed their burn so they actually burned 1.8 billion coins uh, for the second quarter now that's a good thing because that's lesser coins that are actually on the market so it brings more value uh, to their coin itself so if you do not have any BNB uh, coins then you know you may want to look into that and and check out the charts to see when the best time would be to buy it if it if it dips but typically with exchanges that has their own coins they tend to to gradually rise so and I can show you you know exactly what I mean here so what you're looking at is Binance this is actually the Binance app that you can download onto your onto your PC so we're gonna go to BNB and click on this so as of right now the BNB is currently at fourteen dollars and thirty cent uh, let's go let's look at an hourly chart here this goes all the way back to January 13th but as you can see somewhere somewhere along here from the, between the 14th and the 15th it actually went up quite a bit it went from about 149,000 satoshis up to 172,000 satoshis. So if you was holding this coin around this time, and then you decided to sell, you made a, a pretty nice profit, you know, during that time. And then you know it, it tapered down, tapered down, tapered down. Uh, it dipped. It made a, a huge dip right here. And if you rolled that back up, you would have made some nice money right there as well so you know this right here is is your typical type of day trading you know you, you'll have to look at these charts to see what's happening here and let's let's take a closer look at that dip so it, it dropped down and then right around here is where that where that support line was at so it began to rise back up so if you would have rolled that that train back up you could have made some nice profit right there so today I'm gonna show you guys how to possibly gain some profit you know by looking at these charts here now the coin that I'm currently holding is MTL so at the time that I purchased the coin I purchased this coin at uh, 378 Satoshis. All right, it's currently at 376, um, but I purchased it earlier today, and it actually it actually rose up a little bit to around 384. Yeah, 384 Satoshis, 385, and then it began to you know bounce back it up and down and things like that. But I'm going to you know hold this coin for a little bit of time here and, and pay attention to this particular coin today uh, and I may actually sell this one uh, soon you know later on in the day I'm just gonna you know pay attention to it so I'm gonna show you guys how to theoretically never lose on a trade alright so 
And what I mean is, whenever you buy any you know, of these coins, you never take a loss unless you sell at a loss. You never gain unless you sell uh, when it's when the coin is high. So if you're just holding the coin and then it constantly fluctuates, then you know you're just holding the coin. But until you actually submit that order to sell it, whether it's high or sell it when it's low, that's the only time you make a profit or you lose. So you know just be mindful of that. Now let's go ahead and get this started here on what I mean as far as never taking a loss uh, on your on your purchase. So let's just say. I want to buy what's the minimum I say 25% let's just say I want to buy 10 MTL coins instead of me you know setting a, a market order a market order is basically you want to buy this coin right now you don't care if it goes down you don't care if it goes up you want it right now so market orders places a demand on the actual market and these also inquire fees uh, in order to buy right then so on a limit order you can set let's say you know it's currently sitting at 377 satoshis see that right there is four dollars and forty cent let's say I want to actually buy this at 370 satoshis instead you know I can Type in that, that 370, and then I currently have uh, some BTC in my wallet. So I'm going to take 25% of my BTC that I have available to buy this at 370 Satoshis instead of 377. So I go ahead and click on buy. My order was successful. Come here to the open orders, and you can see MTL buy is a limit of 370 Satoshis. All right, so you know you can just sit here and wait on it, and if it dips and then it drops down to that three to the three seventy, then it will automatically buy that order for you. All right, so then let's say for instance you don't know if this coin is going to continue to drop, and you don't want to take a loss on that coin. So what you'll do next is come over here to the stop limit. And then, you know, I came over here and I chose one of the, the buy orders at 370 Satoshis because that's where my pending uh, buy order is at. So I come over here, I type in for my stop 370. And then if I want to sell this coin at a higher price, then I would type that in into the limit side because stop means when the when the price of the coin is going down, if it reaches a certain point downward, I want it to stop and automatically sell, you know, the price at the price that it current that is currently sitting at without me taking a big loss. So I type in that stop for 370. And if I want to gain, you know, make some profit, let's just say I want, let me uh let me look here. Let's just say I want to make some profit of 440 Satoshis and I want to sell 100% of that. You know, basically all of uh, every coin that I'm holding right now, I want to sell 100%. I would set that limit at 440 Satoshis. So uh, as you can see on this graph, you know, right here, that's about 370 Satoshis if I was to buy it at that price and then the price goes up to 440 Satoshis which is off the chart right now you know this is just an example if it reaches that 440 Satoshis it will automatically sell it at 440 Satoshis and then I'll automatically gain a profit from you know from this this stop limit order that I placed and let's say it goes up to 300 and I'm sorry, 439 Satoshi, and then it dips all the way back down to 368 Satoshi. Well, if it dips all the way down, it will automatically sell at 370 Satoshi. So I don't take a loss. You know, I bought in at 370 Satoshi, 
I want to make a profit between you know from 370 to 440 if it never reaches that and then it just goes the opposite way on me and it goes all the way down to this 368 instead well I will automatically sell it for the price that I brought uh, I bought it at you know you don't necessarily have to set your your stop limit for the exact price you know let's say you you just want to take a a chance and you just drop this down to that 368 satoshi that's about maybe a, a two percent uh loss you know then you can do that as well because you you want to spread your your margin out so that you can try to make some type of profit from that order that you placed so that's basically how limit orders market orders and stop limit uh, orders works all right so if you understand that or if you have any questions you know go ahead and comment down in the comment section uh, if you do understand it or if you have a, another way to describe this you know feel free to comment that down in the description as well you know let me know that you guys are watching these videos and if you want more how-to videos like this you know give me a thumbs up I appreciate the support subscribe to me and that's pretty much all I got for today's video. Bitcoin brand, hashtag fire your boss, hashtag 6K work week. Jump on the team, get your accounts created, and let's make some money. Bitcoin brand is out. Peace.